Hey guys, welcome back to the Crypto Connection. Today we're going to be doing a pricing update on LimeWire. It's been a little bit less than a week, so I thought it'd be a good idea to give an update on the price. If you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel. I make daily videos on pricing of altcoins in the space, and I also do reviews on projects in depth where I look over the website, I, I access the project, and I see how well the project actually functions in the space. Also, if there's a certain coin or a project you want me to do a review of, feel free to comment that down below. I get the best recommendations from the community, and that's also how I discover new projects. Also, feel free to jump into the Discord. There's a link down in the description. A lot of the projects we review here on the on the channel we talk about in the discord so feel free to join us there anyway let's get into it here uh, we talked last time we made this this here trend line as a point of support before it had been a point of resistance if I remember correctly and how I stated it would play out was right around this point um, I said that we would be seeing a turnaround for a couple of days and we have seen that. I did suggest that we would be carrying off of this line here. I extended this moving average. We could actually uh, just delete this to see how that appears. So I was trying to mirror this moving average and I suggested that it was likely that we could go back down to it. However, as of right now, we're actually holding on the trend line. And if you guys have seen the market today, I mean, my portfolio looks great. I hope your portfolios look great as well. It wouldn't surprise me to see a turnaround at some point for LimeWire to see more upside. We also have seen one to four day correction here. It is probably about time for us to see more upside. Now, if we zoom out, we really have nothing to go off of as far as what the next high is going to be. What I'm going to do is draw Fibonacci retracement. The all-time high though, which is when the coin was released right here, it's, it's really not true to life because, well, the coin was released and then everyone dumped their coins, whoever had them. So I think it's best if we use this area here as the all-time high uh, for the Fibonacci retracement. And again, this is like a, you know, predicting the future tool. It's kind of not the most accurate way to predict where the coin is going. But for what it's worth, going off of what I just said, this did touch right to the right to this line here which is about 58 cents 60 cents and that's kind of scary right how we could kind of see this coin in the near future possibly touching up to the 60 cent mark so I'm going to extend this to here and I'm also going to draw a horizontal ray coming from here that's going to say this is going to be a point of resistance. And we'll see, we'll see how that plays out in the near future. We could also go a step further and say that this could be another point of resistance, which is going to be the 89 cent mark. And then another point of resistance up here at the dollar 21 mark. And again, this is just, you know, for for discussion's sake, really. I could definitely see the coin going up to the 60 cent range again very soon and possibly breaking out of that. The going off of where the coin sold initially, which was the 57 cent mark, the interesting thing about that is aside from the fact that a lot of people dumped the coin right here you could see on this candle a lot of people still also held the coin right there is a bunch of bag holders at this point it's very likely that there's going to be some resistance there however 
once we get over that line, it's basically the sky's the limit. I mean, that's the thing about getting on board with a coin that's this young is that the all-time high is basically non-existent. The all-time high is 60 cents. <clears throat> and that was on the wick of a candle, not even the candle. The, the all-time high is technically 39 cents, and we're hovering around that. So the true barrier right now is the 60 cent mark. I definitely recommend keeping an eye on this coin. If I had to say, it is going to happen quickly when you see movements like this right here. Look how quickly this was, a three-day period. See movements like this. This was a, like less than a week here. The next movements are going to happen very quickly, so keep an eye on it. I'll definitely update you guys. The more I see, the more I'll let you know. Like I said last time, I'm going to redraw this again. There is a chance that we're going to be returning to this moving average. Although, there's also a chance that we're not going to be. I'd say right in this range is where we're going to hover, though, and then we'll be checking back in with the 60 cent mark with very little resistance. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think of LimeWire down in the comments. And if there's a coin you want me to do a price analysis on, you could also let me know that. If there's anything I misstated or you want to know how I did it, also feel free to comment or ask me in the Discord. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.